Hi. And yeah, I'm, uh, it's, it's a bit complicated. Tomorrow, no, today, in the morning, I was in Wales for another project, and I started at 6 or 5.30 in the morning in Khandublo Junction or somewhere with <laughs> three different trains, and I arrived at 10.30, and I'm so happy now I'm here, and I have the right adapter, and everything is working, and I, <laughs> I have slides because there was an internet access in the Virgin train, so Virgin uh, is more or less the secret sponsor here. And uh, yeah, it's about templates. And yeah, let's... let's hmm? I haven't got Savannah, I'm sorry. Oh, is it okay when I start now? No, you or can is go there through. It's time? my fault, I'm just being crap. Okay, okay, what? <laughs> so, and it's... Yeah, if you build a template, it's sometimes it's a bit complicated because the first impression is important and when I look at me it's a catastrophe but okay it's also the first impression. So in 2009 at Joomla Day UK in Maidstone, Judy, this is the lovely lady who entered the room, asked me how to build a template and I did a session from scratch how to build a template and since then uh, yeah, all the people in the UK were thinking, hey, that's the template guy. <laughs> but definitely, I'm, I'm not a designer. I'm, a, I'm more or less everything, but not a designer. But she asked me to do a template session. So, mm -hmm, I try my best. So, that's me. I, <laughs> oh, it's the same t-shirt. <laughs> so, I like it. <laughs> and I wrote books about different content management systems, Joomla, Drupal, WordPress, and web servers, and a lot of stuff in the last 10 years, and I was with big publishers together, and I don't like them anymore, so I decided in January to write books for free. And the first book was for free, it was downloaded 50,000 times, that was, was this book. And the problem was I didn't earn any money, so <laughs> <laughs> the business model was very successful in the sense of audience and clients, but for me it wasn't that good. So next try was <laughs> half a year later with this one, so it looks much more professional. <laughs> and you see, there are sponsors. And the best thing is, da -da -da, it is also free, and the sponsors pay a little bit money. And if you see this here, this is for the next book, so if you Excellent. want to, uh, to sponsor, it's possible. Yeah, but now marketing, is <laughs> that was the marketing section. So now about templates. Just go back, I didn't get that URL, was it? That URL is, oh, how do I get that? Oh, I don't know, oh, this one. Okay. So you can look for Google for Joomla 1.7 okay. and me. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's free. Okay, so I thought about templates, what is important, and simply look at these words here, this is all important when you build a website. So it's not alone the template, there are so many different things you have to think about. And there's this blog post with 21 factors of a website and yeah, you see all these things are important. And I am more in the business of development, so I am more in this load time and error messages and video and audio and these things. But the designers are more in where does it come? layout. So I thought, let's talk about layout. And before you start, you have to think about what's it. And there are several possibilities to learn from. So in the morning, you go to Facebook and you look at this. And then you go to Wikipedia and you look at this. And then you go to Google Plus, you look at this. And then you go to Joomla, <coughs> you look at this, yeah, that's WordPress. So immediately you understand it seems to be not that easy to make good design. Because when you see this here, yeah, it's, it's just the normal stuff, yeah? So what, what to do? And let's have a closer look. And I thought since years, more or less, when I do something with design, I use this golden ratio idea. Uh, does someone know it or ever heard of it? Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's very simple, it's very old, and it started here. Yeah? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, and they, they did it in a nice way. And if you look at it, it's, it looks nice. 
so nobody knows why, but it, it looks nice. And it is this ratio here. So usually you need this constant one point, around 1.6. It's also possible with 1.5, 1.7. It's the same with these uh, cinema displays. I don't know all these resolutions, but sometimes they are a bit wider and sometimes not. And the idea is, is A plus B is something complicated, but it's, it's not that. <laughs> It's, it's, it's possible to understand, you see the difference. And when you look at these different buildings, you see, for example, this one, or this one is a mosque, so it's also possible between different religions. religions. By the way, I'm originally German, this is the reason why I cannot speak English, and I live in France, that's another reason why I cannot speak English. So, welcome to this wonderful session, maybe I have to start over. <laughs> Okay, we, we rewind. <laughs> hey, more and more people want to build camps today. Cool. Okay, another marketing part. <laughs> no problem. Sorry, Hagen. No problem. We start over. <laughs> Is everything okay? Yes. Okay, so everyone wants to be here for build your own template design design, yeah? yeah? Sorry guys, it's my fault. I put the <laughs> room size on the wrong doors, which was really helpful. But the map in the delegate pack is right. It was just me that was wrong. So apologies. Sorry, Harkin, go for it. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> we can start again. So welcome in this wonderful session, build your own place. That's me, yeah? And yeah, that's me. And look at the wonderful sponsors. So we dropped a story about whales, and yeah, the, the first impression is important. There's a talking head, and we don't know what he's talking about. So that's, no, that's not me. In 2009, it's Juga Day Mainstone, Jody, that's her, uh, asked me how to build a template, and I did a session from scratch, by, but <laughs> the problem is, uh, yeah, afterwards people in UK were thinking, hey, that's a template guy. Mm -hmm. But I'm not a designer. I'm, I'm an author, web developer, you name it, but definitely not a designer. So for me, it's a bit complicated. And I'm writing books, and since the beginning of the year, I distribute them for free. So you can download them for free. If you want to have it on an iPad or Kindle, you have to pay the luxury fee, but you can have it also as PDF for free. <coughs> And it's also possible to download it for free and put it in your iBooks application for free, so you don't have to pay. But if you want to pay, it's also possible. <laughs> so, okay. And yeah, that's me. Ah, again, this boring slide. So this is this is more more or less important for a website. So I say more or less because depending on cultures, countries, people, it's a bit different. So if you build a website in Turkey, it looks different, simply different. Or if you build a website in France or in Switzerland, so, so it's definitely different. So you have to think of all these little things here and designers start, yeah, I don't know exactly where do they start because I'm not a designer. But I've heard they start with the layout. So, and the layout is often based on a simple idea. So, I don't know, grid layout, this layout, that layout. And when you look at different websites like this, so 700, I don't know, 750 million people in the world had a look at this site. So it must be not that wrong, yeah. Or if you look at this side, or at that side, or at that side, it's it's different, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but it seems to be not easy to, to build nice or good looking websites, because it, this is more like a Volkswagen Golf or something like this, but it's not, mm, it's not that special. Yeah, so let's have a closer look, and one simple idea is this golden ratio. So it's simply an idea of um, structuring things. And the important thing is this mathematical base behind. So you, you will understand it if you look at it two minutes. And there is this ratio of around 1.6. It's not exactly 1.6. 
But when you look at architecture, uh, for example, this is built with this ratio, this is built with this ratio, it's a mosque, and this is built, it's Notre Dame in Paris, so the other kind of religion. This is also built in this ratio, and here you see it's, it's looking looking more than a website like this here. <coughs> okay. And yeah, and for web you have this golden grid system. So there is a grid system generator where you can yeah, where you can structure this grid. Who's working with grids? No one? Oh, a few. Okay, perfect. I, I'm not working with grids because I'm not a designer, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, so this is also a house in a grid system. And sometimes it looks like this after a while. <laughs> okay, then you need different colors. Usually you use these kind of palettes. So nice colors fitting together and you have to look for a nice palette. For example, this one. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then you need fonts. So there's now a trending fonts area in Google where you can look what's trending. So Jubi is trending and Prada is trending. Yeah, so then you have three, three of these words covered from the 21. And hours, days, months later, you have to think about how to implement all that in Joomla. And yeah, <laughs> then first you need a few tools to do that. And one, I don't know whether it's that important, but it's 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 always nice to have this uh, validation in a good way if you think of accessible templates or something like this. Then uh, this web developer toolbar is nice to have because you can deactivate styles, you can do a lot of things. Then Firebug is more or less yeah, necessary, you, you need to know what's going on under the hood. Yeah, and then Joomla is coming. So this was the boring beginning. <laughs> <laughs> now we, we can have a look what's in core. And in core we have these Bs2 template. So the Bs2 template is the successor of Bs. And Bs was a wonderful template three years ago. The only problem was it was pink. And all the developers said, oh my god, it's not possible to use a pink template in Joomla. But it had a lot of good ideas, and it's the same with these two. By the way, uh, Angie, Angie Radke, who created this Beast template, she rewrites three years ago more or less all the code <coughs> from Joomla to make it accessible. And since three years, Joomla is because of that, more or less accessible. And BS2 is now easier, because now the core is <laughs> accessible and it's not necessary to rewrite everything. And BS5 is more or less the next stage, so it's made of HTML5, but it's not, uh, it's not the default template. The default template is BS2. And then you have Atomic. Atomic is a uh, more or less empty template, and it's based on the Blueprint CSS framework. Does everyone use the Blueprint CSS framework? Say something about it. I have no idea what it is. It's not very easy to use. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but if it is, if, if you get it, it's, it's possible to do nice things with it? Uh, yes, it is. It has some problems with the CSS board, but uh, it's easy to find solutions. Okay, perfect. So, if you if you like these kind of frameworks, I think it's it's a good start. <laughs> and yeah, and we have also these administrator templates. It's Blue Stork and the other one, Haythor. So it's possible to build a template. It was always possible, but now it's better possible to build also a template for the administrator interface. And these are this is the way where how Joomla stores these templates. So when you have Joomla core, you have more or less two Joomlas, one in the front end and one in the back end. 
And so consequently, you have templates in the front end and templates in the back end. And here is the front end area. And you see the templates Atomic, Bs2, Bs5. And there is a folder called System. And System is more or less all the rest. If the, uh, if the template doesn't cover something, there is some, something in System. And it's the same, the, the same structure in the back end. Yeah, and then you go inside of the Bs2 folder and then you see this. So you see a lot of PHP files and other folders, but it isn't, it looks complicated, but it isn't that complicated. Because you have this CSS folder, so what's inside CSS files, you have the font folder, what's inside font files, you have the HTML folder, that's an interesting one. There you can have the overrides from Joomla. Then you have an images folder for your images, JavaScript. And what's new is you have your language folder now in the template. So you can deliver your template with different language files. If you work, it depends on the template. You, you are uh, you're not necessarily need a template uh, a language file, but if you have a few static words in the template, it's nice to have to, to provide these files. Yeah, and then you have this XML with the metadata and the thumbnail for the preview. So it's not bad, complicated. And yeah, when you have a look at the index PHP, which is the main, the main file for the template, there's always this first line. It's a kind of security simulation, or how can I, how can I say this? It's, I think it's not necessary anymore, but it is, it is always on top of Joomla. And it is, it's, uh, if Joomla is started in the right way through the original index PHP, so this variable is defined. If not, it's not possible to, to access it. Okay. And then you have to define a hashtag, uh, not a hashtag, a doc type. And the doc type in Bs2 is mm -hmm, more or less quite complicated. Usually you don't write this, you copy this from somewhere. And since HTML5, this is a bit easier. <laughs> so you have to write the doc type <laughs> HTML, and the rest is done by the browser. So it's a good idea to have a look at these Bs5 template. Yeah, then. You have these Joomla specific tags, jdoc, include, type, head. And if you have this in your index PHP, it will result in this code in, yeah, in, in your website. So this is all the metadata and yeah, some, some scripting things. And this is partly configurable by the configuration in the backend, so the site title and a few other things. And what else do we have? Ah, this one. So it's, it's, it's more or less the first presentation in Keynote, so sorry for that. Yeah. So, <laughs> so you have here the JDoc include type component, and this is the result. So this is the content area in Joomla. And one page can have one component and as much modules as you want. But this is more or less the main thing. This is your, com your content, so that's the component. And then you have a lot of variables. For example, these two, the base URL and the template. The base URL is where Joomla is located. Usually it is on a productive site directly in hddocs, but sometimes it is in hddocs slash, I don't know what, CMS slash or something like this. And it looks like this. So you can use these variables if you want, but you don't have to. But it's it's handy to to have them. And yeah, this is uh, also a variable called direction. So usually we write from left to right, but if you want to have it from right to left, <laughs> you have to ask for the direction because the direction is stored in the language parameters, and then everything is different. So it's. Like for me, when I try to drive with a car in England, it's, it's the same with this template building here. Yeah, then you have these little ones here, type messages. So if you have a message, so your account has, has been created or something go, went wrong. So this is the JDoc include for 
message. Yeah, and then you have these wonderful XML file, and I hear that since, I don't know, 20 years, 15 years, XML is the future. But most of the people that I ask for, they say, mm -hmm, well, yeah, mm -hmm, it's, it's possible to use it, but... Mm -hmm. So a few people are quite happy with XML, and the publishing business loves XML, but other people are not that convinced about XML, but for Joomla it's perfect because that's the metadata and it's not that complicated. So this was the gray theory and now we can start our own template. So let's, yeah, the first thing is you could start and uh, change the bees to core code but it's not allowed to hack core, so you, it's, it's not possible to do that. So you can copy it, for example. And I will show this with bees, because I think it is the most complicated way to, to copy it, and the rest is, is always the same, and it's not that, that hard. So I have here a fresh Joomla installation. I hope it's working. Mm, something works. So and you go simply into your templates here. Can you see it? Is it big enough? And here you have this, oops, piece two. And you see, say, simply, now what is a duplicate? So I have no idea of Windows and no idea of Apple. And is that FTP? Huh? Is that FTP? Is no, that is, that is the file manager. Okay. This is, what is it in, in Windows? What do they call it? File? Also File Manager. File So this is our new template called Joomla Day UK. And I have to go back to the slides. Oh no, this was from Wales. <laughs> <laughs> Where are the slides? Here, yeah, sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, steps to do. So first, there we duplicated the folder. Then, ah, then, that's interesting. We can use the wonderful shiny new extension manager to discover this new template. So there is, how can I do this? There is in the administration interface, it's all <laughs> Here, discover. Okay, discover nothing. Install. <laughs> so, uh, right top, discover. Hmm? You have to press discover. I have to press discover. Wow. Hey. Yeah. So it's here, but it's it's still bees. So and we don't want to have bees. We want to have JD. I don't know what. <laughs> so we have to go to this XML file and change a few things. So, uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, and here, oops. So this is the original base 2, base 2, and we say now we want to have JD UK, and the yeah, creation date is okay, and this is, I don't know. Correct <laughs> that. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Mm. <laughs> and the rest is okay. Yeah, we can leave that here or we can do it. UK. So this is the uh, kind of a variable for the description. And here are the files. Okay, we can leave the rest, I think. We have to save it. Here, install. 
Perfect. So we have another 10 planes. Do we have another? Yeah. So here's another template. And in, mm -hmm, I have to say, I, I forgot something. Because in since Joomla 1.6, you have uh, templates and you have styles. So in Joomla 1.5, it was possible to assign templates to menu items. But if you wanted to have, for example, the red template on that menu item and the blue template on that menu item, it wasn't possible, so you had to copy the template or you had to write special parameters for that or something complicated. And with these styles now, you have one base template and you can create as many styles as you want. So for example here we have the default Joomla Day UK style and I say this one is now default, so it will not... <laughs> Not look, look different because ah okay it looks too different because yeah these are parameters and there is this option nature so the option personal is the same than these two so it's not in the template manager anymore you don't click on the template and have the menu sign there it's now in styles yeah it's it's in in styles so templates are more or less only the back end. So usually you have nothing to do with the templates, only if you want to edit it here in the administration. So in the UK. So here for example is the main page template. This is your index PHP. <coughs> and you can edit yeah, here if you want, but it's not that comfortable. Usually you have an you have an editor. But it's nice to to have it like this because when you, yeah, when you work with WordPress, it's the same, but when you work with Drupal, for example, it's, it's not possible to fix some things very easy. You need always FTP, so it's, it's nice here. But if you start, I think you will, you will use an editor. Okay, how do we go on? Just a moment. Duplicate, extension, read, ah, the language files, yeah. And it's not the, <laughs> the right order, but you have, to, you have to change all these things. So let's have a look at the language files, because at the moment, when you go into this style, you see all these not that well-looking variables here. And it's possible to... Uh, rename language files. So we have to go here into the language folder, and you see this is the English version, and you can uh, you can add as much as you want to have. I don't know for German, for French, for for all these things. And here, it's it's not necessary to do this, but it's it's nice because this is piece two, and it's better to do it in a clean way. So you have here the JD UK. Oops. <coughs> Cheers. And yeah, here too. Okay. okay. I don't know whether it is working already. We'll see. Oh, looks better. So here are the language strings from bees, but but, 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 oh, again, 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 again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah, like this. Yeah, and then <coughs> you, it would be nice if you change all the words B's underscore to zero to JDUK. So if you have an editor like me here, so I. I didn't try that before, sorry. So you can just a moment control F. No version. Search, modify search, here it is. So we can go into the folder, into the folder, into the folder, in UK. And we are looking for B's to zero, and 
and we want to replace it as J J D U K. Replace all. Yeah, proceed. Perfect. Is there an option to save everything? I'm not sure whether it's working after all. <laughs> <laughs> done now we have our own template so and this is it's a good feeling because, <laughs> because when there is an update uh, you will not be killed by the update so you have here your own I don't know what and you can you can do your stuff and yeah that's for the beginning and then you have to think whether you need you need parameters so if you do an uh, individual template for a client, I don't know, often or usually you don't have parameters. So what's, what's your, your experience? Do you need parameters if you do an individual template? Or? Yeah. Not so much, but yeah, okay. Okay, go on, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> so just, just to see where it is located, we have here in the XML file, which is this one here, you have the different parameters from B's. And it looks complicated, but it isn't that complicated. So you have always here the field parameters, and then, for example, whereas here is the logo, and it is a type media, so you can upload something or you can you can point to the media manager. And there are several different yeah widgets you can you can use widgets you can use. And yeah, you find them in system no in library Joomla fields. And when you see this library Joomla, it is also yeah something new. It's it's not that new because it was more or less invented in January, the separation between the CMS and the platform. But it was the first time also more or less official released in July with Joomla 1.7. So the idea is to separate the Joomla platform from the CMS so that it is possible to write your own more or less your own CMS or your own application and that you can use the platform without having all this CMS stuff around. And here are yeah, the usual suspects, text lists, radio buttons, media, folder lists, editors, and so on. And you can use all these things in the XML file and in your parameters. Yeah, and then you have again Joomla specific uh, text for modules and you have different positions. So what's also different in Joomla 1. Point, since Joomla 1.6 is the place where you can see where you can see the positions because before it was like this. You said what was it? Next PHP sorry it's a French keyboard and it's <laughs> Okay. Okay, we we mean it's not possible. Um, you can go here to the template manager and here in options. Yeah, you have to enable this. Because before it was possible to say index PHP question mark TP equals one and then everyone could see your positions and now it is a bit hidden here. So if it doesn't work, it's not because Joomla doesn't work, it's a kind of security or a kind of doing things in the right way. So first you have to enable it and I will close it and we'll try it again. Has someone worked with a French keyboard? No? 
there's, there's, there's only the Swiss one, which is harder. So yeah, then you can see here these positions. And you see here, for example, this position six has a parameter called B's division over here. And it's all the same. Here's no outline. Mm. Ah, you cannot see that much here. But, 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 when I go back, yeah. When you, you all know what modules are, yeah? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so if you want to put a module on a special position, you have to use this, uh, this way here, this is also a bit new in 1.6, but 1 .7. by the way, who's using 1.7 already, or 1.6? Mm -hmm. Who's still using 1.5? <laughs> okay, okay, then, then we have <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's 1.5, it's, it's okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not sure what what has changed because I'm using now this 1.6, 1.7, but all in all it is, it's a bit different. So for example, you can select here languages and you can select the, uh, the access level because it's possible in since Joomla 1.6 to have customized access levels, like this is our branch here and this is our branch there. And you can select somewhere, I thought, the template, no? Oh, ah, here, yes, some kind of template. Okay, let's go into the login. Yeah, here's a login form. And so this is simply the example data, it's nothing special. And this is, I think it's different, it, it was different in 1.5 here. You have this one, yeah, and then you can select the template. So we are in JD UK now. And this is, yeah, here are your positions. So it's uh, in the default state, it's, it's not <laughs> well, well described because it's simply position one, two, three, four, five. But you can do what you want by changing the name in the XML file. So you only have to change position one into my wonderful position and then you know what it is. And to come back to this JDoc thingy here. So the one important thing is the type module and the name position, I don't know what, so this is the place where it is. And the other thing is the style, and this is another style, it's not the new template style, it's the old module includes style. So it is possible to send different um, HTML surroundings to your module. For example, when you want to do a table, you have this table tag, or when you want to have rounded corners, it's, it's from four years ago, you need four diffs for your rounded uh, images. Nowadays you can make it different, but there are several possibilities. And you can have all these, I don't know, XHTML tabs around the table. And when you see piece is a bit different, you have these division <coughs> tabs and <coughs> height. So mm -hmm, you think about tabs, what are they doing with tabs? And tabs are cool, so mm -hmm. let's have a look how does this work. And here at position 4, the only positions I know, 4 and 7, <laughs> <laughs> you can search, yeah, here. And then you can put the login form to position 4, for example save it, and then you need another one at position 4. Mm -hmm. so we have another one. Maybe the latest news. To position 4. And then it should look... Oops.
accessible tabs, so it's yeah, the, the wonderful tab, yeah, not, not the evil tab, it's <laughs> the good tab. <laughs> and here you have your login form and here you have your test and you can order them easily by ordering this one, so you have to filter for it, it's, it's not that user friendly. So. <coughs> How can I see everything at position five? Or what position? What is this? Ah, yeah. position five. Ah, perfect. So, because here my login is on the left side, and the test is the next one, and I want to have it the other way around, so I say ordering. And yeah, this is also not that perfect. <laughs> yes. So this is two, and the other one is one. Yeah, and then I hope it's different. Let's see. Yeah. So and this is nice. And yeah, <laughs> and this is inbuilt in bees. So it's more or less. What is it? Not in English. Yes. <laughs> it's independent from yeah from from your from your template, so you can do what you want, and you can you can use the tabs. So that is quite nice. And there is another possibility. Oops. Here. Yeah. It's all made in a virgin train. Yeah, so <laughs> more. <laughs> um, yeah. There is this beat height on position 4 and this is with these little plus and minus so you have one position and then they I don't know, they fold, fold up and, and fold down so we can have a look at this too now we are very experienced here with the positions so I can say I put this on position 4 so can you use bees height and bees tabs on your own template? Yep. Do, you don't have to be using a bees template to apply them. Okay, yeah, it, it depends. You, you have to copy the, the appropriate code. So the, if you want to use it, the easiest way is to use bees. The, use bees. Yeah. And bees is, in my opinion, the best to start. And if you, if you understood everything, you can do your own. Yeah? But I think it's not a good idea to start from scratch with your own if you have no idea from these because there are so many 
very good concepts in, in this template and you can learn a lot and it's, yeah, it's a good thing. So just to show it here. Yeah, because at the moment what I'm showing is always a, a mixture of, of configuration or kind of content and CSS. But often I see people, they are doing that much CSS for a tab and it's already inbuilt. Or they are doing that much PHP to change the page, page title or I don't know what and it's inbuilt. And it's also necessary to have a look at Joomla, what is possible in Joomla because a lot is possible. And often you can make a site more or less with core and I don't know how much, maybe 100 lines CSS or 500 lines CSS. It must be the right ones <laughs> because the clients don't pay you for the amount of lines. <laughs> of lines, it's it's just for for the value or for the design. Yeah. So when I go back now, yeah, now it's like this. So I can close this and open this. Yeah, this looks also nice and it's inbuilt and it's working and it's. It's working, I think, also in IE6. I'm not sure about this, but I think it's it's also working. So, yeah, this is also a thing which is simply nice. So you just choose the module position you want to get sexy with in the index PHP. Yeah, but the, style. yeah, but you can do your own positions because you can change this. Or just a moment, you can go into the index PHP. And yeah, look for the tabs. Oh no, no not weekends. No. Not found, okay. What was it? Position five. Uh, yeah, here. Yeah. So you can do your own. Oops your own position and the only important thing is to have this style here and the style is uh, created in the piece template so you can also change this if you want to have different tabs or something like that. but it's it's a good base and you can change this here to <coughs> JD UK or something as, as you want so I, I leave it as it is <laughs> Do you have any idea why people seem to have moved away from left, right, top, <coughs> position, one, two, three? I have no it's idea. Like a step I have no idea. Way. I'm thinking in header, bottom, yeah. Yeah. left, yeah. right, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. left, right, no. I have no idea. It is, for me, it's, it's honestly more and more complicated because I'm yeah. using, uh, I'm using the, the three yeah. systems, yeah. WordPress, Drupal, and uh, Joomla. Yeah and they have different words for everything and even for left they have different words and yeah. for right and for positions so it's easy to change so you can go into the html here in the position and you can say okay this is i don't know my left this is my right you know this so you do it once maybe it's an hour work or, or maybe two yeah. hours to understand everything and then it is as, as you know it yeah and I don't know how it is in other templates. Mm. I, I just played around with this. Is it uh, doesn't it have anything to do with uh, search engine optimization? I don't know. I'm not in this search engine religion, so <laughs> <laughs> I, I have learned it makes no uh, Joomla out of the box is I think well positioned in search engines. It's the same with WordPress, it's the same with Drupal. And then the magic comes in <laughs> if you insert your credit card and it's, it's higher and in, if you insert the credit card twice or another time it's higher and higher but if you have a business i don't know assurances or car selling and you want to be in google on page one i think it's hopeless and i'm pretty sure all of this is just server side anyway it never yeah, really yeah. Will you change the name of those positions do you not have to map that so that's right up down yeah, you map that in, yeah, in, also here in this index page. Yeah, this, <laughs> this is a bit of work because... Yeah, yeah. I don't know why they changed it, it's much better to select 
Yeah. So, no, no politics. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a request back, please. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, it's also with these language, uh, language strings and I don't know. It, it's, I don't want to know why. <laughs> because I learned in, in Germany they have a party called SPD, the Socialists, and they are very good in talking. And they are talking about everything, and after two hours they save the world. And then one or two days later the world is the same, and then they start talking again. And sometimes they, they have to decide something, and then they look, oh, what have we talked? And then mm, we, we take this one. Yeah? And maybe this was the, I don't know, 14th iteration of something yeah, like yeah. this. And when you look at the topic ACL, for example, <laughs> or other things, it reminds me often at that party in, in mm -hmm. Tula, so yeah, I don't know. It's probably flexibility, isn't it? Because if you want to sort of subdivide your template, I would guess. Yeah, there are so many arguments, pro and con, and but usually if you want to put something on the left side, it is the <laughs> left side. <Yeah. laughs> if you are living in, in, I don't know, in Israel or in, in I don't know where, you know, okay, the left side is on the wrong side. <laughs> I, I, don't know. I think in general it is better and cleaner to use positions. It is like Java J to E, -E but usually life is too short to be clean and <coughs> yeah, it's up to you how how you use it. But it's, it's not that complicated. It only looks complicated, and most of the stuff here is yeah. It's, it's, it's hmm, how can I say this? I have an example here. Hmm. For example, here. Here you include these modules at position one. That's all. So you can delete all the rest in this index PHP. If you have only this line in your index PHP, it will insert the modules on position one or left or right, <coughs> what you do. So you only have to change it in the XML file and in the index PHP file. Yeah, this is how it appears, <laughs> but then you need other classes usually or other IDs. Yeah, yeah. yeah more, yes, of course. Yeah, this one, this is, mm, who knows that it, it exists because they invented it with Joomla 1.5. Four, four years old, five years, 750 years, I don't know. It is, it is there since 2007 or 2008, I think. So you can insert a text string in the CSS style and then it appears in the source code. And then you can write in your CSS your class or your ID or what you want to have and then it looks nice. So that's, that's there since ages. And it's amazing how much stuff there is that I just didn't know was there. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but this is why I say, this is also a reason since January I only write books about core. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because the core is getting, I don't want to say better and better in this situation, <laughs> but, but it is, people are thinking more about about these things, maybe it is wrong with the positions, but the idea behind is usually good. And this is also a small thing, so you can define, I don't know, five, six different styles, and then if you create a module, you can say this is my style one, style two, so it's, it's easy to use. Yeah, and this one is um, new, yeah, this one is new, because before, this moment, the difference is, this is a menu item, and this is, a, where is this is a page item. So one is only for the menu and one is for the page. And here, yeah, we can do it. So, but, but the idea is, yeah, just another class. So you have this page class here and you insert funky and then you have in the source code div class block feature. Block featured is the menu item type, in this case I think the front page, 
and it adds the funky behind. So in your personal CSS, uh, the name of the CSS is only personal in B's, so it's, it's, you can put it where you want, but if you use B's, it's, it's good to do it in personal. Then you have these uh, dot block minus feature funky, and then you say, okay, color red, and the result is that the headline is red, okay. But the idea behind is you want to have this with the menu items also on the page level, and this is new in yeah, 1.6, 1.7, I've been seeing since 1.6. Uh, sh should I show this, or is it clear? Or Again, should I show this? No, it's okay for me. It's okay? It's okay for you. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's, it's not that complicated. <laughs> the complicated thing is to decide, oh, is it good now to use this, or to use that, or it's a bit like, like Lego. Yeah, what do we have? Uh, this is interesting. Template overrides. Who, who's using that? Not that much. Who's knowing that it exists? Who's not knowing that it exists? <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. Because it was also an invention from 1.5, from Joomla 1.5, because the can I say this? The source code was crap, <laughs> <laughs> and they tried to to give the designer a possibility to overwrite the code which came from the components. So if you have the article component, there were tables in it, and this is exactly what bees did, and the first bees. So here. It's this invention of MVC, Model View Controller. So you have here your components, and for example, here is the content component, and here you have these models, views, and controllers, and usually designers don't want to, to do anything with this, <laughs> so this is your, your region here, views. And for each menu item type, you have an, another folder. For example, here is the article, or here is the featured type. Let's take the article, and the article has a template. So it has also a PHP file for the parameters, but this is the interesting one here, the template. And it's very simple, it's default. And you can take this oops, default, copy it, and put it into your template. Where's my template here? Is UK. Here's HTML. And then I have to say com content. Oops. Content. And oops. <coughs> no, this doesn't work. And here you can say article, and then you can paste it. Usually I don't know what I have to write, <laughs> but it is, it is the name of the component and then the name of the view, and then here the default file, and when you change something in this file, for no. So here, for example, is the, the article, and it starts here, and I can say, oops, Firefox, right here. And when I go back to my articles, yeah, I have here Firefox. So this is the view or the template for for this article. So you can do what you want here in in this file. With HTML, with PHP, with everything, but usually you use it for, for HTML and, and CSS files. Yeah, and that is the idea of overwriting something because your changings 
of the core or of the additional component are afterwards in your template and not in the component. So that's nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice, but... <laughs> Can I add modules to your template as well? I've found modules placed in the template file. Yeah, it's, it's also possible. Then you have to... Uh, this, what's the name for the mod? The, it's, it's not com content, it's mod underscore something. But it, it works, works the same. It's written in this wonderful book. <laughs> 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 but not in the new one anymore. <laughs> okay, so... <coughs> So if you hear model view controller, that's it. So if you understand view is mine, model is the thing with the database administrators, and controllers is the thing with the bloody developers, then it's more or less okay. So then there is another possibility, and that is quite nice, because the problem with the overrides was you had one possibility, but only one possibility. And it was not possible to, to create another style or something like this, so you had only one possibility to change the content, but if you want to have these kind of articles in this way and that kind of articles in another way, it wasn't possible. And now it is possible and it's very easy. So you have here, you see in the component the default, in the template, the default, and then you have article options. And there you see JD UK. So let's try this. When I go back to this article here, and I'm simply copying the default file, or oh, duplicate, when I'm duplicating the default file, and say you are JD. UK, and you are totally different. I leave it as this, but mm. <laughs> imagination. <laughs> so uh, when I come now to my article here, no. that's also new in 1.7. It starts where you have been. In mm. 1.5, you started at the, at the dashboard, yeah. and ah, so this is that. quite nice. Because usually, when you are ready, your session is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh yeah. This is the article. And here are uh, the options. And here is the item. Yeah, and here is my special layout. So the default.php would be the standard. And if you say this is a special article with I don't know what's inside, then it, this is your template. And this works too with modules. That's nice. That's very nice. Yeah. And what else do we have? Yeah, that's also nice. So if you have... <laughs> have you ever used component.php? to change the print layout or something like this. So when you go to my article here and you click on the print, on the printer icon, and then you see this. Ah, where is this coming from? Nobody knows. And it is here in just a moment. Here, in component. And yeah, this is the file where you, where you define this. And you can use this system also for, um, for other purposes. So, for example, here for the offline, just, yeah, it's for the offline system. So there is a default version in the system folder called offline. So this is the, the code you see it usually, and if you copy this and put it in your template, oops, and you change something, ah, not, not here. and you change something. 
Like here, for example. And you put the side in offline mode. No. So side offline, yes. Then, yeah, then this is the high, so this is the the fire where you can customize everything, how it looks when it's offline. And this is also, yeah, nice. And yeah, it is, honestly, it is uh, interesting to see how much is possible now in, in very easy steps in Joomla, because if you try this in Joomla, it's, it's very hard. It's also possible, there's a rule for that, uh, the module this and this. But it's it's not that easy, and I like this system very much. <laughs> so what do we have here? Let's see again. Yeah, you can use that, for example, for mobile templates. And you can ask your PHP: is it a mobile or is it a browser? <laughs> and depending on that, you can redirect to another template. So you can you can create as much files as you want, like offline, and say this is iPhone.php, or this is Blackberry.php, or this is, I don't know what, .php, and you can redirect to this file, and then you have your template and the little brother in this iPhone.php. It is not that easy to write a nice template for mobiles, so it's, it's a lot of work. And this is also a reason why I have, oh, I have, I have mentioned that in, in the book. If you have a small website where the clients don't want to pay you for 30 days template development, so mm, then maybe don't start with these things. <laughs> because it, it will take you 10 days, 15 days, nearly 20 days the first time to get a really nice result. And then I think it's better to download something from a template group, something easy and try to understand or have a look at, at these and all these things. So don't start with a, with a blank screen. <laughs> okay, what do we have? Other possibilities. Ah, yeah. So, yeah, this is more or less these two. There are a few other things, but I think it's, it's enough now and maybe you get curious. And in these five, all the overrides are now with HTML5 tags. So you have these tag article navigation. So this is more the left-right thinking. And I think it is it is a very good idea to, to have a closer look at these these five templates. I don't know whether it will be default in January, but it will be default. I hope as soon as possible. Yeah, and then you have this atomic one, which isn't that complicated, we have heard. And then we have the, the other ones. Okay, so what else do we have? I don't know. You see? Ah, yeah. And just three more examples. In Germany, there was a Joomla day in Hamburg, and I saw a presentation from Alexander Schmidt, and he created this blank Joomla template called blank.vc, and this looked very, very nice. And it has all the special things with reset scripts and, and all this. And I think he is a designer and he's doing it in the right way. So I'm not sure whether there are other templates like this. Maybe there, they exist, but, but I don't know. And I learned a lot from this country framework and from this T3 framework. I would not use both on a bigger production site, <laughs> but it's good to learn, and it's good to see what they are doing and the relationships. So if you want to play around, you can have a look, but usually you don't want to use it. <laughs> and this blank one, maybe it is it is better for the start. Well, why, why do you say that? Why do you say that? <sighs> yeah, why do I say that? <laughs> Sorry to be honest, but usually I work with Drupal, <laughs> and usually we have bigger websites, and the only thing which is a problem is performance, and it's more or less the same in Joomla. I have not that much experiences with bigger sites in Joomla, 
but you, at the end you are only thinking of caching and <coughs> zipping files and all this and the bigger the template is the more complicated is everything and if you use this for for example for mobile themes yes it is possible it is out of the box there but if you have 200,000 visitors you will get in problems I, I'm sure it is possible to solve these problems but it's, it's not that easy. So if you have a smaller website, it's perfect, it's wonderful. It saves you time, it saves money, everything is fine. But if you want to dive deeper into, if you want to customize all these things, it's very hard to, uh, to, to understand the, the relationships between the folders and the CSS files and the idea behind. So you need two months to, uh, to understand what are they talking about here. Yeah? So I think it is good if you have a if you buy a template, it is inbuilt and it's working for you and you have no problems, it is good. And you can check also with, oh, what is the name, pa page load, I think, from Google and from Yahoo. And there you can see how long it takes to, to get the first time the CSS file. So this is the reason why I say, I'm not sure about that. Yeah. So are there any experiences with, with these uh, frameworks? So maybe it's totally crap what I'm saying. <laughs> I use UFI, but they're Yuffie. really heavy. They're so because they're trying to be everything to everyone. Yeah, yeah. Whereas when you put one on, you're only using a small element on yeah. it. Yeah. So it's all that. So what was it? What was it that you said? What did you call it? Yuffie. 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 Y double O. Yeah. And they're brilliant. I love them. I pay yeah, them yeah, for the they look nice. Yeah. subscription. They're really yeah. pretty, but yeah. Yeah. it's so heavy yeah. because they're trying to be everything to everyone. Whereas if you use blank or you use bees, it's really light on the code, and you just add your own. Yeah. Whereas the Yuffie is gigantic. Yeah. I mean, you have to change the PHP file in order to upload some of them because they're so huge. Yeah. Yeah, but it depends also what the customer wants to have, yeah. how much, what is the budget, and all exactly. these things. So, yeah. Five so these months. are the three more. <laughs> and just Google for it. You will find so many things. How come we need to break for lunch? It's all. Is that okay? You're done. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, the trick that you did when you put in the query string, just the question mark and the TP, to yeah. show the positions on the template. Yeah. Does that work on 1.5? Yes. Yes, it works too. Each jeweler page. 1.6 and 1.7. Yeah, you should show the website. All right. But 1.5 is just the same. Yeah, 1.5 is just the same. Okay. Yeah, that's the end.